And we start tonight with a follow-up to a four investigate story that will impact thousands of people right here in the metro. The Walmart on San Mateo, right near Highland High School, is closing for good. Just last week, four investigates exposed how much retail crime was impacting that store and others nearby. Brittany Costello joins us with more on when that store will actually shut down and the concerns coming from people who rely heavily on it. This is a really big deal for people who live in that community. Because transportation is an obstacle, many people walk to and from that store to get necessities. It started as a rumor, one we've been trying to confirm for months. A spokesperson for Walmart today did not blame crime. Instead, they pointed to a number of factors, saying the store hasn't performed as well as hoped. But this closure is the fourth of its kind in that area within the last several months. As we we told you in a special report last week, employees at two other grocery stores told us they could also close this year. They did blame retail crime. Take a look at this family dollar we went to a couple weeks ago. They had a sign posted on the door allowing only one person in at a time due to shoplifting. We dug into the calls for service at that Walmart that's closing. In 2019, there were more than 1,400 calls to Albuquerque police, a number that actually dropped in 2022 to around 700, still about two calls a day. People just need to respect their, their neighbors and realize what, what a treasure it is to have a store close by that you can walk to, you know? And it's just a shame that uh, people aren't re respecting these businesses. Now, people like Shane Young will have fewer places to shop, not to mention Walmart was one of the least expensive places for groceries over there. A spokesperson says that Walmart will close on March 10th. There are nearly 300 employees at that location. A spokesperson says they are all eligible for transfer. Back to you. And as Brittany mentioned, with Walmart closing at this location, finding an affordable store nearby will be really tough. Tonight on the Night Beat, we're taking a look at the bigger potential impact on people in that neighborhood.